kids podcast. <laughs> you can go slow. A kids podcast about. Hey, grown-ups! Pride is here. Get our newest book, a kids book about Pride, available as a free ebook, and explore our content of books, interviews, and shows from voices of the LGBTQIA plus community to celebrate Pride and jumpstart conversations between you and your kids. Learn more at akidsco.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to week one of Camp Adventure, the camp in your bedroom or living room, the camp that's in the bus or in the car. Camp Adventure is for everyone, no matter who you are, and that goes in line with our theme this week. All are welcome. My name is Camp Counselor Lewis. I love music, dancing, and science. I love learning all about the earth, animals, and and about different cultures. And I'm so excited to be here at camp with you. Something else I'm excited about is to introduce you to our adventuring guide, the one and only Camp Counselor Ben. My friends, what a great thing it is to be able to get together again for another round of camp adventure. I'm totally stoked. I'm I'm excited about the summertime always. I think probably because ever since I was young, summertime meant camping. It meant getting outside, having adventures, running around, climbing trees, the whole thing. My name is Counselor Ben, and I, again, this whole time we're going to be hanging out, I get to tell stories, which is kind of my favorite thing, which some of you are already well aware of. But yeah, how are you doing? Where are you at? I know we're coming from cities, deep in the cities, or sometimes on the edges of the cities, or out in the country. I grew up in a little town. I I know that... That's a whole different way than where I live now in a big city. So I wonder how you're doing. I wonder if things are noisy where you're at or if they're quiet. I wonder if things are peaceful. Maybe they're not so peaceful right now. Some, that can happen. I know life has been very hard for all of us these last couple of years. And <laughs> I suppose that's just going to be true at any point. That's maybe what I love so much about Camp Adventure. It is a safe place for everybody That is so important to me. I love coming here for that reason and many others, but I love that everybody is welcome. I feel very much welcome here. I hope that that's the same for you and that you feel very welcome to welcome everybody else you know. We're built to live that way with each other, welcoming, loving, caring for each other. All that stuff is really strong. It's good adventure stuff. So I'm glad to be with you. And I'm I'm really glad that we work uh, as a team of counselors here because if we didn't, I would probably have to do the singing too. Because we got to have singing for camp. You know, you know what I mean. We got to have singing for camp. It's just part of the deal. But you don't want me to be doing the singing. <laughs> Trust me, that's not a good idea. So we have Counselor Amy, who's going to be leading us in songs, and I'm excited to have her uh, take over next. So Amy, uh, let's hand it over to you now. Thanks, Counselor Ben. I am so glad we are all together for Camp Adventure. My name is Counselor Amy, and I'm super excited to sing and chant silly songs with you around the campfire. Let's start with a boom chicka boom today. First, we're going to find a steady beat on our body. You can pat your legs, your shoulders. You can clap. Snap. Whatever feels good for you. Remember, the beat stays the same. We're going to chant Boom Chicka Boom, which is one of my favorite campfire songs from when I was a little one. Turn your listening ears on and repeat after me. Ready, campers? Repeat after me. 
I said a boom, chicka boom. 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 I said a boom, a chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. I said a boom, a chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. One more time, one more time. In underwater talk. I said a boom, chicka boom. 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 I said a boom, 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 chicka boom, 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 chicka boom, 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 chicka boom, boom, boom. I said a boom, 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 chicka boom, 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 chicka boom, 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 chicka boom, 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 boom,
And then it dawned on me. Y'all, it dawned on me. Like morning came, like dawn, like it dawned on me. You get it? Okay, okay, you get it. Ah, take it away, uh, Ben or Lewis or whoever. Get out of here. I'll see you next time. Hey, campers. I'm camp counselor Gabby, and I'm so excited to join you all for Camp Adventure. A little bit about me is when I'm not helping run camp, I like to design things and bake lots of yummy treats. I also love learning new things. One of the coolest parts about learning new things is getting to share those fun facts with other people. Sometimes fun facts are shocking, sometimes they're insightful, and sometimes they're just super silly. Hey, how about we learn something new right now? Okay, are you ready for a little bit of trivia? Let's do this. My question for you today is, about how many different species of bats do you think there are in the world? Is it A, 75, B, 10,000, C, 1,400, or D, 820? Whew, okay, that was a lot. I'm gonna ask you the question one more time, just in case. About how many different species of bats do you think there are in the world? Is it A, 75, B, 10,000, C, 1,400, or D, 820. You can hit pause right now if you need a little bit more time to think. Then come back and click play when you're ready for the answer. Okay, are you ready for the answer? Drum roll, please. The answer is C. There are about 1,400 different species of bats in the world. Yup, you heard that right. One, four, zero, zero. That is a lot of bats. There's the horseshoe bat, the free-tailed bat, and one called the gray-headed flying fox bat. Whew, that one's a mouthful. There's even a species called the great fruit-eating bat. Hmm. I wonder if grapefruit-eating bats like mangoes. I love mangoes, but I guess that's a fun fact for another time. I have loved getting to share today's bat fact with you. Thank you for taking the time to listen in and learn something new with me. I'll be back in a few weeks and can't wait to share more facts and trivia with you. Until then, keep learning new and fun things in that wonderful mind of yours. Bye! Hi campers! My name is Camp Counselor Emma, and I am so excited to spend my summer at Camp Adventure with all of you. This is actually my second year at camp. Some of you may remember doing poetry with me last summer, but if this is your first year, welcome! We are so excited to have you here. When we all hang out together this summer, I'm going to be talking to you about mindfulness. Have you heard that word before? Say it with me. Mindfulness. Mindfulness is a kind of meditation where you focus on what you're sensing, feeling, touching, smelling, and so on, without any kind of judgment or interpretation. You are simply noticing what's going on around you and within you. One thing mindfulness is really helpful for is grounding ourselves in the present moment. I don't know about you, but my mind has a tendency to race forward into the future or think way too much about things in the past, that sometimes it can be hard to be fully present to all the things happening right now. I thought for our first mindful practice together, since we are at Camp Adventure, we could ground ourselves in a moment focused on one of my favorite things to do at camp, stargaze. Does that sound fun? Let's get all set up and then we can dive in. Before we start, find a comfortable place to either sit or lay down, and I want you to close your eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths, and as I'm speaking, let your mind go where it will. Imagine you're in a wide field. It's a summer night, so there's a bit of a breeze, but it's warm and comfortable. The field is full of tall, soft grass. Maybe you're sitting up, and you feel the grass along the backs of your legs or under your feet, 
Maybe you're lying down and you feel the softness of the grass wrap around your whole body. And in this moment, you feel relaxed and safe. Now look up. It's a clear summer night and all you see are stars. They're sparkling, they're bright, and they're creating amazing shapes across the sky. This moment feels so still and so quiet. You're far away from the noise of the road and passing cars, and there are no other lights anywhere near you. Everything you see is illuminated by the brightness of the stars. The breeze continues to blow softly across your face and it rustles the grass surrounding you. The air smells fresh and you take deep breaths, filling your lungs with it. What else do you notice? Are there any other smells? What do you hear? Do you feel anything else between your fingers or under your toes? How's your heartbeat? Is it slow, rhythmic, and calm? Sit with those senses for a moment longer and really just be in this moment under the stars. Well, how did that go? If it felt really easy and peaceful, that's wonderful. If it felt really hard and like your mind kept wanting to pull you in lots of different directions, that's perfectly okay too. Mindfulness is super tough in a world as busy as ours, but we're going to keep practicing together all summer long. And I can't wait. So until next time, campers. Oh, wow. What's up, y'all? It's Counselor Lewis, and I'm back. I hope you enjoyed those jokes and was impressed with those cool bat facts. Did you know any of those? Because I didn't. I hope with the mindfulness moment, you were able to feel nice and calm. Before we go, remember, the theme this week is all are welcome. Tune in next week for our campfire episode where Counselor Ben will be sharing a strange but true story about psychic powers called Amazing Powers of the Mind. It has been super fantastic spending time with you. And before we go, here's a quick message from Counselor Matthew. Thank you, Lewis, and thank you, campers and camp counselors, for this time together. Share your camp adventures on social media using hashtag AKCA Summer or write to us at listen at a kidsco.com. We love, love, love hearing from you. Camp Adventure is written by Ben Tartine with help from the A Kids Podcast About team. The sing along music was performed by Amy Winner. This show is edited and produced by me, Matthew Winner. Audio production is by Chad Michael Snavely and the team at Sound On Studios. Our executive producer is Jelani Memory, and this show was brought to you by a kid's podcast about. Follow the show on Apple Podcasts or wherever podcasts are found, and check out other podcasts made for kids just like you by visiting akidsco.com. While you're there, be sure to check out Ben's book, A Kid's Book About Adventure. See you back at camp next week for another adventure. Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm the head of audio at A Kids Co. And I also host A Kids Book About the Podcast and Worth Noting. I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks for listening to our shows in your classroom or in your bedroom, over breakfast or over dinner, on your drive or on your downtime. No matter what you do between this listen and the next time you tune in, thanks. You're awesome. And it's because of kids like you that we get to make cool stuff like this. See ya.